live on Big Dog Radio. Now live on YouTube, Bob. Have you? Okay, we post the link in there. I'm going to get those links in, my friend. And we can rock and or roll very shortly. Everybody, get this on the group as we speak. Getting a little bit of feedback, mate. Let's see if I can. I'll tell you what. Let's see. You. No. Have you muted, David? I've, uh, you, the device that you're not using is muted. That one is. Uh, <laughs> Something's different here, mate, though, because this music is yeah. really loud in my ears. Yeah, using earphones. Yeah, I was before, though. Let me, let me switch the mute round. One second. Hello? Yeah. Is that better? That is better, but I need you, I need to um, tag this video in just one second. That's okay, I'm gonna get everybody started, get everyone warmed up. How are we doing, guys? Yeah, right, that's yeah. better, much better. Yeah, fantastic. I'm a technical genius now, brother. You are, mate, you are the wizard. The big dog wizard. And if everybody can just take a moment and clap with me for Ash. Uh, Do not clap me. Please don't clap me. <laughs> just picture him, can't you? Walking back to his house, pushing his. Oh no. Push no! Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you for clapping me. Thank you. Love it. Absolutely love it. Top banana. <laughs> right. Okay. Nice wide feet for me, guys. Just do some little stretches here for me. Try and keep your legs nice and straight. A little bend of your knee is okay, but try and reach down for opposite hand, opposite toes. Oh yeah, good session today for you guys. We've made a little adjustment to it because this morning it was an hour before we'd even stretched. So we have made a little adjustment. Oh, that version is on YouTube if you would prefer to do it, but really we're only skipping one round. I'm buzzing about that, to be honest. Whoop. Feet together for me, okay. Feet together-ish, stick your bum out. Okay, have Leave, a nice welcome. Deadlift. Thank you for joining. Deadlift posture, straight down, okay. Like a can squat, but like a bit of a hold, okay. It's all right to have bent knees, stretch down for your toes. Should be a now, Neve. Thank you very much for coming. Welcome. Good to see you. It's been a while. Okay, super. Let's do some shoulder rotations, arms nice and wide. Ooh, stick your chest out, squeeze your shoulder blades together at the back. And forward for me. How many have we got on, Ash? 18. 18. 18. Sink your shoulders down nice and low for me, please. And then fire your hands back. Ooh. Them shoulders, mate. Them shoulders. Oh, they're burning. And then up and down, please. Up and down. Big stretch. Ooh. Okay, if everyone can just do me 10 squats, please, that'd be great. Eat your heels fixed to the floor every day. Chest up. 
shoulders back. It's only a warm up, so we don't need to be too precious with this one. But make sure you're working through your full range of movement. I'm working my very hardest to perfect this Radio 2 voice, everybody. Uh, ten, ten lunges, please. I'll be a ninja by the end of it. <laughs> oh, mate. I'm going to be in shape, mate, by the end of it. As long as I stop eating Victoria sponges. Ooh. Sorry, I've mate. already contacted Men's Health to get in the, get you a photo shoot book for next week. <laughs> yeah. With my yeah. Victoria sponge, or...? No, of you, eating your Victoria sponge. Yeah, mate, there you go. Hands on your shoulders, OK? Let's roll them forward like this for me. And backwards. Okay, lovely. Right, guys, let me show you what we've got on the board. Okay, can you all see that? This way. It's weird because it's the opposite. Okay, good morning. So, um, the first round, we're doing four rounds of this top section here. We're just going to go through this and we'll go through everything else later. Uh, we are starting with a wall sit. All right, we're going to do 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off for this particular section. All right, um, after a wall sit, we are doing either squat jumps or squats. I can tell you now, after doing this this morning, I will definitely be doing squats. But if you can start with squat jumps, if you're in a position to do that, that's cool. And then regress to squats, that's great as well. We're then doing single leg hip thrusts. So we'll be on the floor, one leg off the floor, elevated if possible, pop the other hip up. Okay, I'll shout you when we're halfway so we can switch over. Uh, we're going to do toe taps or heel taps, I think the, the lads call them. This is when we're in a plank position and we pipe our hips back and we touch the opposite foot with the opposite hand. And then we're going to do walkouts. So 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off, four rounds. Ash will throw you some alternatives. Okay, guys, just give you 30 seconds to do that. Okay, any alternatives? Just drop me a message or I'll give you some as we're training. Okay, we ready? Going to start with a wall sit, guys. Ready? Three, two, one, go. If you okay. haven't got a wall, uh, you can do a, a squat hold. Just watch your lower back for me, okay? Okay, just make sure you stay on your heels with this one. Your back against the wall. Pull those shoulders back and sit at 90 degrees. 50 seconds of work, so the first round shouldn't be too bad. But remember, we're going straight into squat jumps or squats immediately from this one, yeah? So we're going to pre-fatigue the legs and then we're going to blast the rest of your legs doing the squats. We've got 20 seconds of work to go. And again, if you can't find a wall or a door to lean on, you can just do a squat hold. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Well done. Shake them off. Two. 10 seconds oh. rest. I've got remorse already. Three. Lisa having a boogie in a two, living room there. One, let's go. Squat jumps and then into squats if need be. Okay. We do need these squat jumps. You don't have to do a full squat. Just do a quarter squat and exploding from the floor. Just to ensure that you're landing safely. That your knees aren't coming in when you're landing. If we're doing a normal squat, keeping that chest up, shoulders back, sitting into the heels. And then controlled on the way down, explode on the way up. We've got 20 seconds left. Just keep that working. Nicely controlled. Ten seconds. And again, getting that breathing in on the way down and on the way up. Three, two, and time. Ten seconds. And then we're going to go straight to the next exercise. Single leg hip thrusters. And let's go. So single leg, glute bridge from the floor, pushing on the heel, squeezing at the top. I'm going to give you a shout halfway to switch sides. Or if you prefer, you can alternate sides each rep. 
If you need to do a double leg glute bridge with both feet on the floor, then please do so. Got five seconds till we switch sides. Three, two, and switch legs. Halfway through the round. Just keep going if you're doing both feet on the floor. Okay, we've got 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and time. Okay. Oh, well done. Got heel taps now, guys. In three, two, and let's go. So into a high plank position, reaching back, touch your toes. Excellent. And making sure that we're driving those hips in line with the lower back as we come down. And we really force in your hips up on the way to touching your toe. And we're nearly halfway through the round. Everyone's looking good on this one. Excellent work, Lisa. Got a beautiful map of the world behind you. Okay, again, driving those hips down as we come back up. Five seconds, three, two, and time. Well done. Okay, you've got 10 seconds rest. And then walkouts, guys, yeah? And then we're going into walkouts. Okay. And let's go. Okay. Straight into it, guys. So we've got a walkout. You can either go chest the floor with your walkout, or you can just go into a high plank position. Stand up nice and tall when you get back to the top. If you want to speed the rep up, do it like a crawl into a walkout, chest the floor, and then back up. Nicely controlled all the way through. Just make sure when you when you go into your bottom position, when you go into your plank, that your hands are at shoulder in line, like directly in line with your shoulders, okay? Parallel to your shoulders. So we've got 20 seconds left in this round. Well done, guys. Keep it up, please. 10 seconds. Fantastic work, Jane. Rena, Julia, fantastic. Neve, well done. And time. Okay, 10 seconds. 10 seconds straight back in, yeah? So wall sit, guys. Three, two, one. Let's go. Okay. Sit down. Again, back on the wall. So second round, everyone should be relatively warm now. We won to load the quads as much as possible. This will sit in at 90 degrees. If you want to make this section harder, pull your heels back towards the wall. Lean forward with your chest up, hands behind your head. And sit into it just a tiny bit more. And then that's a prisoner wall sit. That makes things a little bit harder, a little bit more stressful on the quads. Wall sits are pretty difficult in any case and making them harder this way. Quite 10 evil. seconds, guys. Well done. Okay, five, four... Three, two, and time. Well done. Okay. Squats or squat jumps, guys. Okay. Five seconds. Three, two, and let's go. Okay, so nice and explosive with the squat jumps. If you're doing squat jumps, if you're just doing normal squats, just make sure that you're working within your full range of movement, keeping that chest up. Turn those toes out a little bit and then push those knees to the side so that you, your knees are tracking directly in line with your toes. You'll get a little bit more range of movement with that one. Keeping those shoulders back. If you need something to do with your, uh, something to do with your hands, just bring them to chest height and then push those elbows up a little bit for me, okay? We've got 10 seconds. Again, if, you, if you're still doing those squat jumps, just ensure that you're landing safely, that when you're landing, that your knees aren't coming in. I'm just gonna let you in now, Holly. Five seconds, guys. Keep going. Five seconds. Three, two, and time. Well done. Single leg hip thrusts. Four. Okay, single leg glute bridge on your back. Bring one leg up, driving the floor away with your heel. <laughs> Let's go. Again, you can do these with both feet on the floor as a normal glute bridge. Just make sure that you're pushing that rib cage in. 
So we flatten your back on the floor and we're squeezing your glutes, we're squeezing your bum as hard as we can at the top. We're going to switch legs in three, two, and switch sides. Okay, we're looking good. Just keep that working. Yeah, a big squeeze to the bum at the top. If you need somewhere to put your hands, just have them by your hips, palms flat on the floor. Got five seconds. Three, two, and time. Well done. Okay, 10 seconds. And then we're going into our heel to toe. Heel to toe. Uh, sorry, heel to toe. Um, heel to toe. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay, into a walkout and then push those hips back, opposite hand to opposite foot. Drive the hips down on the way down, keeping those hands parallel with the shoulders. Maybe we should, should be starting to feel this after a couple of reps. Feeling it through the core, you feel a little bit of a stretch on the lower back and the glutes as well, and on the hamstrings. If you've got good hamstring flexibility, you might want to push your hips back a little bit further as you come back up. Unfortunately, my hamstrings are really tight. We've got 10 seconds. Three, two, and time. Well done. And into walkout. So back on your feet. Got five seconds. Straight into it. Three, two, and let's go. Into a walkout. Onto a high plank position or chest to floor, your choice. Driving back up, standing up nice and tall at the top. Excellent work. Holly, well done. Neve, well done. Rena disappeared off camera there. There you are. Up, up, up. And give us a wave, Rena. Yay. <laughs> nice work, Jane. Julie, fantastic. Beautiful control there, Julie. Thank you. Trisha, how are we getting on? Renshaw's looking good. Dog involved as well. Got 10 seconds, Trina. How are we looking? There we are. Well done. Three, two, and time. Okay. Straight back into our seconds, yeah. In five, four, three, two, and wall sit. Okay. So again, Traditional wall sit, back against the wall, shoulders back, chest up, nice and proud. Sat at 90 degrees, or you can do your prisoner wall sit where you're leaning forward with your hands behind your head, keeping that chest up, pulling the heels back towards the wall. If you're doing a squat hold, just make sure that you're sat in a full squat position, keeping that chest up, and we get that breathing pattern right. Or halfway. Twenty seconds. Beautiful work, Holly. How are we getting on? Looking good. Thank you. Ten, Ten seconds, seconds. Guys, good It's fantastic. This everyone's on it today. We've had coffee. Three, two, and let's go. I've had three coffees actually. I should not be drinking coffee. I've been told I'm not allowed to drink coffee. Three, two, and let's go for reasons I won't disclose. And we've got our squats or squat jumps. And again, when we're doing these squat jumps, beautifully explosive. You don't have to do a full squat when we're doing a squat jump, it's just a quarter squat. But if we're doing a squat, then make sure that you squat to your full range of movement with those toes out slightly, driving the knees in the same direction of the toes, keeping that chest up and your shoulders back. If you need to use a chair to squat on, or you could even add some weight like some of are doing, perfect. And we've got 10 seconds. Three, two, and time. Nice. Okay. Glute bridges. Into our glute bridges. Okay, we're in our third round. So we've got one more round after we've done the exercise in this one. Single leg glute bridge, heel on the floor. Let's go. Driving up, or you can do double leg glute bridge. Just make sure that you're giving that bum a big squeeze at the top. 
And just a note, uh, if you want to add some weight, but you don't have any weights available, if you've got a rucksack, just load it up with tins of beans or oxtail soup or whatever you've got in the cupboard available that might be a bit weighter. If you've got any loose bricks in the garden, you can grab some bricks, fill it with sand, put a child in it, it's your choice, or uh, a doggy, uh, <laughs> a doggy or choice as well. If you've got a small enough dog to fit in a rucksack, it might be considered cruel. Don't worry, I won't report you. But it's all right to put your kid in. <laughs> but, uh, listen, kids are resilient. Put a small <laughs> child in, but never mind the dog. Ten seconds. That was a joke, by the way, guys. Don't be reporting me. I've got three <laughs> kids at home. <laughs> three, two, three bags. And time. Oh. Okay, ten seconds. <sighs> Need three bags, yeah. And into our hand to toe. Let's go. So into a high plank position. Straight away, let's go. So opposite hand to opposite foot. Piking those hips back as far as you can. If you've got great hamstring flexibility, you can really drive those hips up. And then drive them back down into a high plank position, just ensuring that your hips are in line with your lower back. Lisa, well done. Helen, perfect. Laura, fantastic. Kim, wonderful. Hannah and Hubba, looking good. You know what they say? Couples that train together. Ah. 10 seconds. Three, two, and time. Well done. An alternative to walk out, so I'm just going to do leg raises. Okay, Try let's go. Three. Okay, you can do leg raises or dead bugs if you don't fancy walkouts. Just going straight into it. Excellent work. Okay, if we're doing leg raises, just make sure that you've got a base created, hands next to your hips or under your glutes. Straighten your legs to make it harder. Put a slight bend in the knee to make it easier if you need to. Picking those shoulders up off the mat. And then breathing out as hard as you can to contract your abs, really squeezing those abs, making it feel a little bit more harder on the, uh, on the um, stomach. Okay, we've got 10 seconds. And three, two, and time. More than everybody. <laughs> Okay. Five. Back into the wall. The final Three, round. Two. One. Let's go. Wall set. Okay. Backs against the wall. Okay. 90 degrees. And squeeze your quads. Like, actually, really, really squeeze your quads. Okay. If you're doing a prisoner wall set, you'll need your heels a little bit further back. Your bumps up, basing on the wall. Leaning forward, pull those shoulders back for me and keep that proud posture. Again, getting that breathing pattern right. Get that breathing pattern right. More air will circulate the body, more oxygen will get into the muscles. Blood flow, flow is increased and we recover quickly enough for the next exercise. Says me, who is sat in my chair talking you to you through my laptop. <laughs> Got 10 seconds. Lisa's having a little bit of a, a dance near... Um, Africa there on a map of the world on the wall. And time. Squats, man. Okay, three, two, and straight into our squats. Our legs should be lovely uh, and fatigued right now after Whoa. those ball sits. Okay, for doing squat jumps again. Just a quarter squat with your squat jumps exploding from the floor. Just be careful that you're not going to bang your head on a light or anything. Excellent. Susie, fantastic. Hollow, well done. Need well done. Rena smashing it. Looking good. Julie, well done. Lisa, well done. Helen, fantastic. Got a few years out in your garden today. And um, we've got 10 seconds left. Dr. Helen, fantastic as always. And time. Well done. Trina. Okay, straight into our single legs. Let's go. Single leg glute bridge. You'll fix to the floor, driving those hips up. Again, you can do 
double leg glute bridge, big squeeze at the top, nice little control, pushing that rib cage down. Excellent work. And we're halfway into this round, so I'll switch sides. Excellent work, well done. Just keep driving those hips up. Give me a big squeeze at the top. Beautifully controlled on the way down. 10 seconds. Um, three, two, bam. Well done, okay. Straight into your hands toe. And let's go straight into a walkout. Opposite hand to opposite leg. Really pike those hips up. Got great hamstring flexibility. Drive those hips up as much as you can. Drive them back down into a full high plank position, keeping your hands parallel with your shoulders. And again, getting that breathing pattern. Breathe it out on the way to your toe and in on the way to your plank, okay? Keep it going. Holly looking good. Green is looking brilliant. Neve, you've disappeared off camera, but I'm sure you're there. Unless you've crawled out for a coffee. Jane, looking good. Julia, fantastic, well done. You've got 10 seconds. Lisa, fantastic, well done. Five seconds, three, two, and time. Okay. Walkouts. Three, two, and into those walkouts, or you can do leg raises, okay? Bo's doing heel taps, if you prefer to do heel taps. If you have a look at your camera and see what he's doing, is just having his feet in like a sit position, but rotating round, squeezing his oblique muscles, and touching his heels. It's a nice alternative there for the obliques. The burner, that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's one of those exercises that doesn't look like it's doing anything, but oh, when you do it, it's, it's terrific. Same as yeah. the wall set. Yeah. Well done, guys. Keep it up, guys. Just 10 Keep seconds or so. Got 10 seconds now. Beautiful work with those walkouts, Julia. And time. Well done. Okay. Give me a thumbs up. Show me that you're still alive. Excellent work, well done. Go and get yourselves a drink. Well done, guys. I'm going to get the board, guys. When you're ready, come back to the camera and I'll show you what we're doing briefly. Okay, so... Uh, we're actually changing this because this did take so long this morning. We're not doing four rounds of this one, all right? We're doing three, okay? So we are looking for 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So slightly more rest this circuit, okay? Um, Press-ups, uh, Spider-Man plank, squat thrusts, and a V-sit hold, okay? So a couple of alternatives that you can do if press-ups just aren't feeling great today, we could swap them for a leg exercise of some description. So we could do a lunge, we could do a squat, we could also do something to do with the core. So we could do leg raises, we could do a half sit-up, um, we could do, uh, we want to avoid anything static because we're doing the V-sit at the end, but we can swap for some alternatives. Spider-Man plank, okay, essentially hands down on the floor in a high plank. We're bringing them elbows, uh, sorry, them knees up to meet them elbows either side of our body. Nice and slow and controlled. Again, if that's a, too much of a struggle, we could go down to our forearms. We could do hip dips in the plank position. Again, squeezing the core. Squat thrusts, okay, so I'm just looking for your hands down in front of you. And then I want you to kick your legs back, bring your legs back in again. So we can have your knees out outside your elbows or we could tuck them up into your tummy and then a v-sit hold to finish okay this is this is upper body it's quite intense but upper body it's quite tough all right so we'll see how we get on less exercises um and we get more rest each time all right so i'll shout you guys out what we're doing ash will give you some alternatives if need be 
As an, an, an alternative as well, guys, to uh, squat thrust, you could always do um, mountain climbers if you prefer. All right, which can be done on your forearms if necessary, but that's quite difficult. So perhaps in a high plank position, that's probably best. All right, everybody okay? Ashley yeah, Schultz, all everyone good. Everyone got everything they need, yeah? Okay, yeah. super. Okay. Again, just drop me a message if you need more alternatives. I'll shout some through to you. I'll give you some variations. Okay, guys, so we're going to start in sort of five or six seconds. We're looking to start with some form of press-up variation. Again, if we are doing press-ups, we can start on our feet. We can go to our knees. I'm going to start on my knees the whole way through. We can still have a really good press-up position on your knees, okay? Squeeze your tummy also. Three, two, one. Time is on. Let's go. Okay, you can do a full press-up, as Bowling is doing now. We can go chest to floor. All the way down, we can go on your knees. We can do a hand release too. Okay, so if you're doing a hand release press up, make sure you do it at the bottom of the press up and not at the top. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many uh, how many times I've done that. Actually, you're probably not surprised at all, are you, mate? Ten seconds, nicely controlled. Three, two. And time. We've got 20 seconds rest. Spider-Man's, guys, yeah? So, 10 seconds, and then we're going straight into our Spider-Man's. If, if you're struggling with, struggling with Spider-Man's, you can do an ab variation, a leg raise, a toe touch, a heel tap. We can do a Russian twist even, okay? So, if we're doing our Spider-Man straight into it, driving the knee to the elbow on the side that you're working, keeping your hands directly in line with your shoulders, so parallel to your shoulders, your hips stable, so you're not rocking on your hips, and you're in a full high plank position. Again, this is one of those exercises that looks easier than what it is. Okay, we've got 10 seconds. Keep working. Five seconds. Three, two, and time. Well done. Okay, 20 seconds rest. You can do a squat thrust now, guys, or a mountain climber. Yeah. You can do bicycle crunches if you prefer to take pressure off your shoulders. It's your choice. Three, two, and let's go. Squat thrusts or mountain climbers or bicycle crunch. Okay, so driving those knees. To, towards the elbows, okay, ideally if you can get them on the outside of the elbows. If you've got mountain climbers, then do knee to chest, alternating those legs, again, keeping your hips as stable as possible. The more in line your hands are with your shoulders, the more core it will work, okay, it'll take, it'll take less pressure off your arms. Beautifully controlled all the way through. We've got 10 seconds left. Excellent work. Right, let's see how everybody's getting on. Trish is looking good on those squat thrusts. Oh, and there, time. Guys. Well done. Got a V-sit hold now. Or a hollow body if you prefer. 10 seconds. V-sit hold, hollow body. You can do a Russian twist if you prefer. We can do a leg raise. Three, two, and let's go. You could even do a sit up. If we're doing a Russian twist, then making sure we're rotating side to side, make it harder by having your feet up off the floor, making this V-sit harder if you're doing V-sits, straighten those legs out, hit them up a little bit higher, reaching forward, shoulders up, and just find that perfect position where you're creating as much tension on your abs as possible. We're nearly there. We've got 10 seconds left. Just keep working. Beautiful V-sit, that, Anna. Well done. And time. Well done. 20 seconds going back in, guys. Press up, yeah? we got two more rounds on this one. Five seconds. Three, two, and straight into our press-up variation. Again, either a full press-up, a hand-release press-up, or... On your knees, 
whatever you can manage, whatever you can do, okay? Blast as many of these out as you can, but I'd like some control as well. So nicely controlled on the way down, keeping those hips up, just ensuring we're not doing the worm. It isn't 1982. <laughs> Excellent work, there we go, we've got 10 seconds left. Keep working, keep those hips up. Three, two, and time, well done. It's an alternative to Spider-Man's guys, we can do uh, Russian twists, as Ash was saying, or we can do, um, oh, what am I thinking of Ash? These ones. Ice cool crunch. Yeah, okay, three, mate. two, and let's go. Okay, so if we are doing a, a bicycle crunch, then making sure that we're fully extending the legs and we're fully rotating through the hips. Okay, it's always better with ab exercises to slow them down a little bit and really focus on the abs or on the core. Something that we call in the industry the mind muscle connection. So you're thinking about the muscle that you're working whenever you're isolating any muscle groups. Popular word at that minute, isolation, isn't it? Uh, when we're, we're isolating any muscle groups, so if we're thinking about the muscle that we're working, we're really focusing on putting as much tension through it as we can. Okay, we've got three, two, and time. Well done. 20 seconds. Squat thrusts, guys. And into squat thrusts or mountain climbers. Yeah. Oh, just have a cup too. Have a cup of tea if you want, oh, or a tea, pint, tea, we'll have and tea, let's go. go. Back in my uh, strongman training days, we used to drink beer while we were training. <laughs> during, during, during sessions, yeah. Those were the days. Got twenty seconds. <laughs> Ten seconds again, just making sure that we're driving those knees to the chest if we do mountain climbers, and with squat thrusts, we're driving them just outside the elbows. And time, well done. Twenty seconds. Knee sit hold, hollow body, plank, half plank. Three, two. And let's go. Okay, so with these V-sit holds, again, making them harder. If you prefer to, straighten in those legs out, keeping your shoulders off the floor, and then finding that perfect crunch position where you create as much tension through the abs as you possibly can. Okay, you've got Russian twists as an alternative. If you prefer to do those, again, making them harder by having your feet up off the floor and rotating side to side, really reaching round. If you've got a weight available, then use a the weight. Excellent work there, Ren Charles. Got five seconds. Three, two, and time. Okay, oh. 10, 20 seconds, and then we're back to the top for the final round. You can't hear me, Trina. Can everybody else hear me? What's going yes. on here? Yeah. Has everyone got everyone? Yeah. Three, two, Three. and let's go. Um, just have a check it to see if your mic's on, Trina. Uh, sorry, your sound's on your computer. I know that might sound like the most basic of requests. And if you can't hear me, you can't hear what I'm saying anyway. <laughs> okay, we've got 20 seconds. Nicely controlled. We've got five seconds, nearly there. Three, two, and time. Got Spider Man's now. Got a sit up variation. I'm going to do heel taps. And let's go. Okay, Spider-Man's again in that high plank position, driving your knee towards the, uh, 
the elbow, keeping your hips in line with your lower back, minimal rotation through the hips, okay? So you should be rocking backwards and forwards. You want to give the heel taps a go as Bowley's doing now, but your heels fixed on the floor in a, in a sit up position. And then we're rotating and touching each side, really squeezing those obliques. Again, it's one of those exercises that looks easier on paper, but after a couple of reps, it does uh, catch up with you. And time, welcome. Well, up to you now, Ash, you got another round or? After this one, yeah, we've got 10 seconds. Three, two, and let's go. Press up. Yeah. Sorry, no, this is the uh, final round. We've got a few more exercises. Okay, squat thrust, yeah? Or is this press ups? What have we got to say? <laughs> squat thrust. Squat thrust. <laughs> squat thrust. Sorry, yeah. man. I'm, I'm right. losing it here. <laughs> All right, halfway, oh. take the round up. We're halfway. Squat thrusts, again, driving those knees to the elbows. Or Keep it going, girls. Mountain climbers, driving your knees to your chest. Well done. Kim, excellent work. Hannah and Hubby, well done. Claire, smashing it. Laura, well done. And time. So we're looking for a V-sit hold now, yeah? Ten, Ten seconds. seconds. Again, with those V-sits, find the perfect crunch position. The most tension created through your abs as you possibly can. Let's go. Or you've got Russian twist. Your choice. We're nearly there, nearly there. Just keep that tension working through again. Make it harder by straightening your legs out, picking those shoulders off the floor. If you're doing leg raises, make sure you create a stable oh. base. Like your hat, palms flat un underneath your bum or next to your hips. Three, two, and time. Well done. How are we doing, guys? Looking good. See you there. All good. Rina, looking good. Okay. Good workout or not? Yeah, Lisa, nice work. Okay. Okay, I'll show you what we're doing now, guys. I'll show you. I'll show you. Right, we've got a little bit of a variation here. Uh, or a complex or whatever you want to call it. You can see the bottom where it says lunge, lunge, squat, kickback. That's one move and I'll show it in a second and I'm kind of making it up with this kickback because basically it's half a burpee. But I think kickback sounds better, you know? What do you think? No? Yeah, yeah no? I'd say kickback? so. Yeah, come on, come on, mate. Bit, bit of feedback there on the kickback. Uh, I'd say uh, so, And yeah. then we, we got wipers. Yeah, I like wipers. Uh, slow and controlled, feet up in the air from side to side. Not that our abs need any more work, but in case you know there was a, a tiny square centimetre of them that we'd missed, we'll definitely get them out. Uh, and then we're looking for some shoulder taps in the plank position. I'll show you that. And then we're going to finish with burpees. Okay, so how this round's going to work, though, guys, is that we've got essentially four things there, because that first slot is all one. We're going to do a minute, a minute, a minute, a minute, and then a minute rest. So we're not stopping between each one, okay? And we're going to repeat it twice. All right, so just bear with me, and I'll show you how it goes. I just want to really quickly show you that first move I'm talking about. So I want you to lunge, then lunge, jazz hands optional, squat for me, and then the kick back. I mean, kind of a burpee, isn't it? But if I'd have wrote burpee twice, it wouldn't have sounded so good. All right, so everyone ready to start with me? 10 seconds. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All Three, good. two, one. Let's go, guys. Lunge, lunge, squat, kick back, lunge. Yeah, lunge. Squat, 
kick back, lunge, lunge, squat, kick back, oh yeah, Excellent lunge, work. lunge, squat, kick back, lunge, lunge. Remember guys, this is a minute of work. And when we're lunging, just making sure that we're putting as much force through the heel as we possibly can, making sure the heel's fixed into the floor. And again, it doesn't have to be a forward lunge. It can be a reverse lunge if you prefer to do that. If it's a little less pressure on the knee, then do a reverse lunge. And Stop. time well Wipers. Done. We should be on the floor already. Let's go. Wipers. Okay. Feet up in the air. All right, and gently over, pause, squeeze, up, gently over, oh yeah, yeah feel that bad boy. Again, if you want to make this harder, keep your legs straighter, just make sure that your shoulder blades are fixed onto the floor as much as you possibly can, and it's minimal sort of rocking or rotation with the lower back. Okay. Just go as far as your body will allow you to go with this one, as far as your lower back will allow you to go with this one. Some people have a, a bit more range of movement than others. This one I can probably only get about a quarter of the way because uh, my lower back isn't the best. And change, okay? Shoulder tap. So we should be in a plank position now. Okay, straight up into a high plank. Wide foot. Squeeze everything. I want loads of control. I shouldn't be able to see your body moving at all. Excellent work. Okay. 20 seconds in. Again, with these shoulder taps, you can change it for a normal plank if you prefer, or you can drop onto your knees. Again, keeping your hips as stable as you possibly can. 20 seconds left of the round, just keep working. Ooh. 10 Sweet, seconds, just keep that going. If you're doing a normal plank, just make sure you're squeezing that bum all the way through. Three, okay. two, and time. Thanks to burpees now, guys. Yeah, come on. Let's have strong finishes. Only got you here for four more minutes. Burpees. Pick a number between okay. nine and 11. Let's go. Okay. If you want to do um, a reduced impact variation of burpees, you can just do a walkout and then into a burpee top. You can do a chest to floor burpee if you're a proper ninja like me. You can do just a burpee into a high plank. It's your choice. Okay. Whatever's safe, whatever's comfortable in whatever room you've got that'll allow you to do whatever exercise you prefer. Okay. Just keep going. Nine to 11. Just keep blasting them through. We've got 15 seconds left of this round anyway. Just keep that going. Excellent work on those burpees, Julia. Jane, amazing. Trisha, fantastic. Three, two. And there's the round. One minute rest. Okay. Time we on, Ash. 20 past. 20 past. Okay, we're going to do one more, guys. We're going to do one more round of that. Okay. 45 seconds to catch your breath. Everyone are we good? all feeling? Are we, are we all good, yeah? Give us a thumbs up. Wave. Or... A hand gesture of your choice. It doesn't have to be a thumb. It could be any other finger or fingers in whatever direction you choose to point them in. Fifteen seconds, guys. I want to see everything you've got this round, please. Okay, if you're not absolutely wasted at the end of it, yeah, we're going to need to go for a big run. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. One, lunge, lunge, squat, kick back, half the knee. Excellent. Yes. Lunge, lunge, squat, kick back, 
Oh yeah, lunge, lunge, squat, kick back. Oh yeah, lunge, sugar, lunge, squat, kick back. Oh, lunge, halfway, lunge, squat, kick back. Oh, I'm slowing down. Just keep it going, everybody. Keep it going. It's the final round. Let's get as much out of this one as we possibly can, yeah? Let's get as many calories burned as we possibly can. Okay, swapping. Straight into wipers or an ab variation of your choice. Okay? What we can do, if we're finding this tough, is just... Try and move our feet away from us slightly. So imagine that your feet are above your hips, actually push them away. There's a little bit more weight in your tummy then. You can just hold it there. Again, with these wipers, just work within whatever range of movement your lower back will allow without you rocking side to side too much. And if you make a crucifix position with your hands, you'll find that your shoulder blades are a lot more stable in that position. Of course, you've got leg raises if you prefer to do leg raises. Ten seconds. Come on, you legends. Three, two, one. Plank shoulder touch, guys. You can do them on your knees if necessary. You can still get a really good bit of work out of it on your knees because you want to keep your body so still. You're literally removing your hand off the floor, but no movement at all. The only way you're going to achieve that is if your core is squeezed. Oh, yeah. Your shoulders, hips are in line with your lower back. And we're squeezing everything. Squeeze your core, squeeze your glutes. Excellent work. We've got 20 seconds left. Oh. God, I've not got to do this again today. Um, okay, burpees now. But listen, burpees, big burpees. Yeah, I want you to do two more than you did last round, okay? Oh, where have I gone? Sorry, yeah, for some reason your camera's come off. I'm just going to undo it now. No, it's all right. It's because someone's oh. calling me. Burpees, I want you to do oh, two right. more than you did last round. Okay, two more burpees. Okay, if you struggle with burpees, you can do high knees, okay? You want your knees to come at least to waist height if we're doing high knees. Burpees, again, you go chest to floor. You can go into a high plank position. Really firing those legs back and exploding on the way up. Just be aware of what's above your head. There's a few years with lights and lamps. Excellent words. Keep working. Hannah and Hobby, well done. Claire, fantastic. Trina, how are we getting on? Helen, well done. Anna, well done. Helen da Costa, well done. Jane, smashing it. Julia, thank you. Looking great. Susan, high knees. Well done. Steve, Rena. Amazing. Done. done, guys. You legend. Amazing work. Well done. Little cool down now. Well done, guys. Good workout, yeah? Perfect. Right, let's have a stretch then. Ooh. So first thing I want you to do is grab a wall or a chair or something you can hold on to. You want to start with some hip swings across your body. All right. Putting loads of emphasis into the foot traveling across the body, not going out to the side. All right. If you get it across the body, you'll feel it in that outside hip and that glute. Swap sides for me, guys. Ooh. 
Okay, lovely. Now, stand square onto that wall. Let's get that leg up. Stop side, tummy people. Oh, epic. Okay, one arm across your chest for me. Thumb up towards the sky. Really pull it off. We've done a lot of upper body work today. Done a lot of upper body work, haven't we? We have, mate. Last few the days we've been quite upper body, though, haven't we? You can do a bit yeah. more leggies tomorrow. Stop side. Yeah, we'll do a bit more leg tomorrow. I think we should do a stretch day, just one whole day. Live stretching, 45 minutes. Because the thing is, and I know some of you will be like, oh no, I want to train, this is my time to work out. But I swear, if you have a good stretch session, you will feel just as good at the end of it. You will Maybe feel like throw... your blood flow will be mega. Um, Maybe we okay, can sort so... of throw an extra 20 minutes after a session. Yeah, we can, we can. Foot out to the side at the back, guys. Okay, bend that front knee. Stretch all the inside of that leg out for me. I think we'll do that, girls, next week. I think we'll, we'll do a stretch session. Because then at least we can save it, hey, to YouTube and you can replay it. Yeah, man. Anna, I can see you sticking your thumbs up. Yes, let's do it. I know. I know. It's a good idea, girls, isn't it? I think we never find time, do we? But you know what I like doing at night? When I'm watching the telly, that's perfect time for me. Get the foam roller out. And I'll tell you something. If you're going to train daily and you're not doing 30 minutes of rehab every evening, eventually something will go. Ooh. Perfect. Just hit circles for me. Ooh. Just give me 10 one way. Super. Turn the other way, please. Ooh. Oh, okay. Perfect. Ladies and gents, thank you so much for your time. It's thoroughly appreciated. Have a great day. Morning, Lisa. Thank you, everybody. Morning, Fiona, Kim, Helen, Laura. Anna, Claire, Laura, Helen, DaCosta, Anna, Helen, Dr. Helen. Trina, Bethna, and family, and Karen, thank you very much. Julia, thank you. Jane, thank you. Rena, thank you. Thanks, guys. Steve, thank, Have you. A great day. Susan, thank you, Claire, thank you. And the boss man, thanks, mate. Cheers, that's Take care, my brother. Cheers. Have a, have a great one, Kim. Thank you very much. Lisa, thank you very much. Well done. You've all been brilliant. Helen, thank you. Lisa, Trisha, and the Renshaws, and Dog, Renshaws Dog. Hey. See you later. Take care. Thank you, Susie, as well. Thank you.